Hey traders, Igor here, MrTopTick.com. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time tuning in, consider subscribing, liking this video, and share it with someone you think could learn something from this video. Today, I want to talk about a position we took in the SPX. This was posted for members of Income Navigator. This is a 112 bear trap with a slight modification and I'm going to go over and show you exactly what I did and when I did it and how I was able to turn a very simple trade such as 112 bear trap into a, you can say free black swan hedge. This trade started off on Friday, October 14th, a little background on the 112 trade setup. This is a long out of the money put short out of the money put and then short two farther out of the money puts to help pay for the um, put debit spread that we're buying um, out of the money one thing about this trade is it does have naked short puts that are out of the money and even though they are far out of the money they do have a considerable amount of risks so it is extremely important to fully understand all of the risks that are involved around selling options naked. If you're not familiar, do not do such trades. If you are familiar, you should probably start with a smaller size until you fully master the trade and only then you could potentially scale the trade a little bit more according to your account size or your um, risk profile. So the trade was set up by placing and out of the money put debit spread, I chose my strikes as 33.80, 33.50. So this was a 30 point wide put debit spread. And to finance the purchase of this put debit spread, I went ahead and I sold two times as many 2,800 puts. This was 47 days until expiration. The only slight variation that I did to this trade was I added one extra long put as part of my put debit spread and that kind of gave me a little more of a runway if you will on the downside in the event that the underlying was going to really come down um, in excess of um, 12 to maybe 15 percent now we can look at a chart to see what was happening at the time um, as you can see from about uh, mid-august into October, we're making a series of lower highs and lower lows. The trend is down. We came up to test um, the um, declining 21 EMA, could not get above it. Uh, we are now below both 8 and 21 EMAs. So to me, that implies that we are going to continue to see lower prices. So when I structured this trade, to protect myself from a drastic move lower, I ended up buying one extra put. So now we can go through this trade. Um, every couple of days, there were not a lot of adjustments made. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go forward um, a couple of days just to see how this um, risk profile uh, was changing from um, price movement. So we are here four days in the trade. The underlying actually moved up about just shy of one standard deviation implied volatility has fallen just a little bit uh, we're showing a profit of about twelve hundred dollars we can go back and reference to the chart so now um, this first green dot is my entry point uh, a couple of days later we are now above both 8 and 21 ema so we might have potentially see a change in trend that is yet to be determined either way I don't have any risk to the upside, which is totally fine. All I have to do here in this trade is kind of wait out the 43 remaining days and the potential outcomes here are as such. If we are above the structure or if we are above my long put debit spread and my short out of the money puts, I just get to keep my initial credit that I collected upon entry, which in this um, example, this was a 10 lot. I had collected um, just about $4,831. So if we are above 3380, which is right where my long puts of my put debit spread, 
If we are above 3380, I get to keep the $4,800. If we are inside the trap here, uh, we'll have to determine um, at expiration what this put debit spread is worth. And assuming that we're somewhere inside the structure, what's gonna happen is my put debit spread is going to be worth its max potential value, which is 30 points times 10 plus whatever the uh, 3380 is worth. And my short out of the money puts that are at 2800 are potentially going to expire worthless. So this is where we're going to make um, the most um, profit, if you will. So we go forward a couple of more days. This is seven days in the trade. Uh, S&P is at 3704. And now I still have 40 days until expiration. And as you can see here, um, this trade is almost at its full potential uh, profit uh, in just a week. Um, looking back at a chart here, we're just kind of um, chopping back and forth between the 8 and 21 EMA. Not much is happening here. This is just a weight game. We go forward a few more days. Now we go uh, to October 26th, Wednesday. Uh, this is 12 days in the trade. S&P has moved almost a one and a half standard deviations from where I took this trade. S&P is at 38.72. Again, not much is happening here. PL is showing an unrealized gain of about $4,000. Even at this point here, I can just exit this trade and move on to the next trade. But with 35 days to go, I would still like to potentially uh, hold on to it as long as I possibly can. And if S&P is in fact going to come down inside of uh, 3350 on the downside and all the way down to 2800 I could potentially make the real score here and that is what I am willing to spend time waiting in this trade for a potential payout somewhere inside the trap we go forward this is Monday October 31st 17 days in the trade again we're at 3879 not much is happening my bear trap is pretty far away at this point, right? The S&P has to fall about 13% or so in order for me to um, even get close to realizing a uh, max potential profit inside the trap. With 30 days to go, there's still a good chance that we may see the price come down. So I'm willing to hold a little bit longer, except here now, at this point, we can go and look at the value of the options that were sold at 2800 strike the short 2800 puts are now worth 95 cents i originally sold those uh, options for nine dollars and 25 cents so most of the premium that was in the 2800 put has already decayed there's not much value left uh, the following day this is tuesday november 1st market as at uh, 3907 we're sitting at just about full potential uh, profit outside of the structure with uh, 29 days to go. What I did was I looked at the value of the short 2,800 puts, which was right around uh, 75 cents to 80 cents. What I decided to do is I decided to go ahead and close out my short puts, only leaving the uh, long put debit spread which is still pretty far out of the money, but given that there are 29 days until expiration, there is still a chance that um, S&P may come down between 12 and 15%, and there is still a chance that I may end up somewhere inside of the bear trap. So what I did was I closed out the uh, short puts at 2,800. I paid um, 80 cents. I had 20 of those um, short puts, cost me $1,600, to not only unlock my buying power that was tied up in this trade, but also now I have a 30 point wide put debit spread that cost me nothing. And I have the extra one long put at 3380. So now with 29 days to go, let's say the S&P goes down 15%, I could potentially go from having a small profit in this trade to realizing almost a 10x return on what I currently have in this trade. And if S&P is really going to black swan, and what I consider black swan is 
you know, a movement of uh, 20% in maybe three to five days, we can project what that would look like. Let's say in eight days, if we were to move about 20% to the downside, um, this trade would show a significant profit. So now we go to today, November 16th. There are 14 days until expiration. I haven't changed anything about this trade. I still have the uh, 30 point wide put debit spread with an extra long put. Uh, this put spread is currently going for about 10 cents or so. So it's worth about $100 if I was to close it out. I'm going to hold this trade until expiration. And worst case scenario, if S&P does not black swan, not that I wanted to, but if it does, it'll be great. If it doesn't, my uh, long and short puts are going to expire worthless and I will just get to keep what I currently have in this trade, uh, which is about $3,222. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something new. Please consider subscribing to the channel, like this video and share it. It does help us reach more people. As always, if you take care of the risk, profits will take care of themselves and we'll see you in the next one.